SDBSDN, you had a real smart old system, and you want to put it to a good use by uh, connecting to your Wi-Fi, and you got some creepy Android stuff like this, my, uh, my $25 tablet, which is of no use. And you don't want to buy an Apple like this. So guys, you have to watch this video. This video will put your own creepy tablets or any, any kind of Android stuff into good use by making it to your Wi-Fi adapter. So without any further ado, let's get started. You need a micro USB cable or any Android tablet or smartphone that does the job. So guys, uh, go to your Android device and hit the Play Store app, and then go and type in PDA Net Plus. This one. So install it. I've installed it already, so don't worry. And you'll need a crack to activate this application. Don't worry, I'll give you the link of the crack. So if it says install block, get onto settings. And in security tab, just go and check the known sources. It shows the message saying blah blah blah. Hit OK. And go back. Let you download once again. And to open the file. Install it. And bam, you had a full version. So let's check if it's full version. Yeah, full version locked key app is installed. Yeah. So guys, you'll, you'll have to need internet on your PC, and if you don't have it from your PC, don't worry. You can get all the drivers installed on the tablet, and you can transfer it to your PC. So guys, get into your internet and open the browser. Of course, you can download it into your Android device and you can uh, transfer them to the PC, but it's okay. So PDA Net for PC. This one. And then here you, you can go on your Android device to pdanet.co slash A. So this is version 4.18 installer, so let's set that. I'm waited by this notification. Let's start the download. So guys, it's downloaded. So let's open it. It's the setup. Accept license agreement. Nice, nice, nice. Man. And guys, don't worry. Uh, you should have USB deg uh, debugging drivers to be installed. I have them already installed, of course. The link will be provided down in the description for downloading that file as well. So guys, bam, it's installed, so let's um, finish this up. So guys, we're we'll plugging our cable, so let's plug it in. Yep, it's plugged in, and into our tablet as well. Uh, oh, cool. Yep, it's plugged in now, don't worry. Next off, um, Get onto your PC and open the PDNet application. So guys, we've entered into your PC, so let's open PDNet up and ask it for a connection. So it's saying make sure your phone is attached to the computer and USB de debugging is enabled on the phone. So let's enable the USB debugging. So guys, to enable a USB debugging, get onto your PDNet application and try to hit this. And it says you have to more requires USB debugging, so go to settings. And this is developer options, and if you don't have it enabled, just type your um, bill number for some time, like eight times or something. Yeah, bill number will work. So get onto developer options, and here it is USB debugging. So click it. Okay. And bam, you're given that notification. Let's continue. So, guys, we've enabled the USB debugging, so let's connect. It, it says PDN is ready to connect. So. Connect internet USB. 
so it says so we have to enable that thing on our tablet activate USB cutter so it's getting activated yep it's activated now so let's go and hit the connect and bang you're connected so let's go into our browser and open some website so guys we have it's it's working perfectly now and this is how we do it thanks for watching guys peace out